Hey everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia for SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking about one of the Major League Baseball games of Wednesday evening. It features the Atlanta Braves hosting the Washington Nationals in the third game of their series. Uh, just before I get into this, I want to remind you to like and subscribe these videos here at Wager Talk TV so we can keep bringing you great free content and give you a heads up that there is a coupon now that you can use on a three-day pass for any of my packages. It is coupon code TM3DAY, and uh, that gets you $20 off any three-day pass. So you can get all of my plays throughout Major League Baseball, the WNBA, uh, international soccer, which uh, gets into a, a very hectic schedule later this week, and obviously the NBA playoffs which continue on Thursday with Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals and into the NBA Finals, which begin June 6th. All right, let's talk about this Braves-Nats game, uh, and it'll feature a debut as Spencer Schwellenbach will make his first major league start. He's coming up straight from Double A, uh, and uh, really a rapid ascent due to all of the injuries that the Atlanta Braves have suffered uh, both on the mound and in the field. Obviously, Robert Acuna, Ronald Acuna Jr. is out uh, for the uh, remainder of the season due to another torn ACL. Uh, last time that happened, the Braves won the World Series, so there's some optimism that they can pick things up, uh, but certainly their first outing without Acuna did not go well. I thought they would jump all over Washington to begin uh, this series, and instead Charlie Morton uh, just got lit up right out of the gate, and uh, Washington took control of that game on Memorial Day. So uh, it was good to see Atlanta bounce back with a 2-0 victory behind Max Freed on Tuesday. And we'll see what happens here as Schwellenbach takes the mound. He's had uh, some nasty stuff uh, and uh, really looks impressive via video. But again, he's been facing uh, single-A and double-A hitters. So now he gets to uh, strut his stuff against big league hitters. He underwent Tommy John surgery in 22. That's nothing new now in, in today's day and age. Um, but he's got 51 strikeouts across eight starts and a 1.80 ERA and 0.94 whip um, thus far through this uh, 2024 season. Uh, again, he's making the jump straight from double A. So we'll see how he fares against the lineup that uh, has been much better of late. C.J. Abrams at the top of the order is, is probably going to be an all-star. He's had a terrific season. Caber Ruiz, uh, at catcher, went through an illness that lost, uh, that cost him like 20 to 25 pounds. And uh, he really looked like a shell of himself for most of the last few weeks. Is starting to look like he's back to normal. So I look for Washington to be more productive uh, despite coming off getting shut out on Tuesday night. Um, the Braves are just two and three over their last five despite facing the Pirates and Nationals. And so uh, it looks like it's going to be a steady uphill climb as they try to catch the surging Phillies who have fallen on hard times themselves. I mean, it's it's a roller coaster ride of 162 games. Can't get too high and too low, but certainly you want to see Atlanta try and bounce back, especially uh, you know since they're breaking in another newbie uh, due to guys like Strider and Bryce Elder and now AJ Smith Schauber being out uh, of the mix rotation wise. Uh, the Washington Nationals will look to pull off a victory tonight as an underdog of uh, roughly in the 135, 140 range, uh, whereas uh, Washington, Atlanta is a, a favorite in the 140, minus 145, minus 150 range. Uh, and Mackenzie Gore takes the mound for the Nationals. And uh, he debuted, actually, made his big league debut, so he can relate to, relate to Schwellenbach against the Braves back when he was with the Padres a couple of years ago. Pitched pretty well. Uh, and uh, lasted into the fifth, into the sixth inning, which was a really solid first start for him. Also debuted in 2023 with the Nationals after getting traded um, against the Braves. So he's got a lot of experience with them. Really did not go well for him in his only outing at Truist Park. Uh, he pitched uh, five, uh, five innings, but gave up four run, uh, five runs on four hits in that span and uh, Acuna took him deep. So did Marcelo Zuna. Acuna's two for six against him with a home run. Austin Riley, two for six. And Ozzy Albies is two for seven against him with a home run. I would recommend a runs, hits, and RBIs prop on Albies at the top of the order now that Acuna is out. 
Um, so Albies has a little more uh, pressure on him to be the catalyst. Uh, did not expect to be the leadoff hitter, but that's uh, where Brian Snitner has put him. And uh, I think he'll respond. He uh, has a decent history against Gore, so I would go with that. Our official play, though, is going to be on the over on eight runs in this game against uh, between Atlanta and Washington as the Nats uh, have, again, really responded at the plate of late. And uh, I think they'll do so against the rookie. And uh, the, the Braves, their better hitters, have a pretty solid history against Gore. Uh, the conditions are always conducive to high outputs of runs at Truist Park, and there is no rain in the forecast. So uh, it should be a warm tropical night for the ball to carry in Atlanta. So the over on eight runs between the Nats and Braves is our official play for this free pick video. Again, I want you to like and subscribe. Make sure you tune in to all the free content at Wager Talk TV. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. The spelling is down below. And you can also check out all my free picks and packages at sm.buzz slash TDM. Hope to uh, make some money all summer. Uh, remember to use that coupon code and check me out. Get a three-day pass and uh, have a happy Wednesday and a great rest of your week. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Mejia for Wager Talk TV.